Party time, get your drugs out. Yeah. Do you want to make love? Get your muscles out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you want to make love? What the fuck is wrong with this? We got it. Bro, he was tweaking. What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out Botchamania. So 464, man, back with another one. Y'all already know I love me some Botchamania, man. So I gotta check this out per usual. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. We're not gonna waste no time. We're gonna get right into this one. Let's check it out. That's right. This is our big moment. The Botchamania intro. All right, let's do it. Ladies, Yo, gentlemen, he's missing a everybody. Few teeth. I am the luminary and I welcome you to Botchamania. All right. I like this little retro intro. Jack Master! <laughs> this is cool. This is actually pretty dope what they're doing here with this intro. Got the old school Mortal Kombat style. <laughs> this is cool, man. Very creative. Very, very, very creative. Dog, this is very, yo, this is really dope. I want to know how they did this. Jesus! <laughs> this is cool, bro. Oh. Wow. Okay, what's about to happen here? Oh no. Oh! He wouldn't even know we're near close. Uh, yeah, the, the, the women's war game match definitely had uh, quite a few amount of botches for sure. Still enjoyable, but definitely some botches for sure. This had some botches as well. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, he failed. <laughs> John Moxley was, you know, trying to do the little run in. They were having a brawl with uh, John Moxley and Adam Page, and he, he fell on the ramp <laughs> going up there. He ended up falling. Whoa. Oh, the fan messed it up. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, she couldn't get it. Yeah, she couldn't get it in there. <laughs> the trash talking has triggered something in me again. You talk too much. You talk, you talk too, too much. much. You talk, talk too, too much. much. You never shut up. I say you talk too much. Now then you never shut up. Shut up. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. Remember it was back uh, at SummerSlam that Bianca defeated. Hurt audio. A hell of a fight. Ronda able to roll through and out. Not an enjoyable match. Yeah, you get together. Again, first submission. He has grown so much, taking every opportunity. And now got the Jordan 3s on. Look like the Cardinals. You talk too much. I love that, man. I love they got the reference and someone said, you never shut up. I love that. That's cool. Too much. Never shut up. <laughs> Matt Cardona, 
<laughs> well, the fans are really taking their sides here tonight. Feel like the fourth man, if you want to call it that. Yeah, the I can call seventh it that. man, fourth man. Fourth man, three, three on three, and then there's a fourth man. The 12th so man. sports right. reference. I, I know that's yeah. hard for you. Taz, <laughs> Taz, it's usually terrible having four well, guys at the booth. Have, if you only that's have, what Don was talking about. He hates three, having four guys at the booth. You're one man short. Listen, don't call me short, first of all. Okay? <laughs> second of all, I, I, it's usually 12th man, but that's okay. I get what you're saying. Right? Yeah, because it's a three on three. Taz, three. imagine if there's four guys at the booth. It'd be unlistenable. It would be. Wait, Especially wait. when three of them are talking at once. But let me say happy Thanksgiving to everybody here. Oh, my gosh. I think sometimes you overlook Ty because she's a Sports cover by Ty. Sports entertainer. Yeah, thank you. I was setting out for the call of the. Yeah, okay, Tony. So anyway, I got it. Don't be a wise okay. guy, okay? Um, Bro, anyway. the commentary booth is so like it's. They have their good moments, but it's just chaos over there in AEW. Their commentary is just, it's just anarchy. It's just whatever, bro. <laughs> Anyway, Try to be nice to you tonight. Yeah. There's a first. Charlie, there's a new joke going around. Have you heard it? <laughs> okay, so that was the spot apparently that wasn't planned, and it ended up, uh, you know, I don't know if he was saying he potentially ruptured his ruptured his eardrum, Roman Reigns, but he was upset at the time, obviously, because I guess he didn't plan for that spot. But I mean, if you've ever been slapped. Hard enough, you could potentially rupture somebody's eardrum, so hopefully he's okay, but I know he was very pissed at this spot. Regarding the report on what happened backstage with Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, the story is accurate in the sense Reigns got upset after being popped and had noticeable bruising under his left eye. Mm -hmm. There was talk of a possible broken or drum, but that was not confirmed to us. What is confirmed is that it came from a slap by Owens. Reigns was upset, but 20 minutes later it had all blown over, so there is no lingering issue regarding it. But why did it... That is a lie! <laughs> but he had the little, the little receiver like he's a Vegeta or something like that. I love it. The little reader. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry, I just forgot to say... Uh, you know that thing we talked about earlier? <laughs> he definitely I mean, tried I'll to tell hide you it. About it later, okay? Yeet. All right. <laughs> the, the thing, the, the fucking word I hate the most that fans use is botch. Uh -huh. Oh, you botched that one. Shut your fucking mouth. There's no such thing as a botch. This is a live show. Mm -hmm. Mistakes happen. Because why? Because we're human beings and we're live. So what is the strategy for Bianca knowing that Io Sky and Dakota Kai are ringside? Well, Bianca needs to keep her head on a swivel. I know it's a cliche, but in this scenario, it's the truth. Bailey cannot forget about the women's tag team champions on the outside while simultaneously maintaining focus on one of the most dangerous veterans in the business in Bailey. Oh! <laughs> she didn't know I graduated from the Gorilla Mon School. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If Brian's were dynamite, he wouldn't blow his ears off. <laughs> Corey Graves <laughs> botching it Flash up. Back. There are things no one can talk about, so I'd encourage people to let it go. It doesn't change that we want a team effort in a double O. I don't even mean implicitly myself and my opponent. It also means the referee, the fans, the people he set up the ring, everyone. So I encourage people to move away from it. Uh, 24 hours later. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't move away from it. And then you hear the song that, uh, you know, <laughs> Waver's son in this little, like, uh, this little video game type vibe. They didn't move away from it in this match. I just wanted to let you know that. If you didn't see it. The biting, uh, the GTS. I know writers who use subtext, and they're all cowards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, no. I just have a bad feeling about this. Oh! 
Whoa, somebody threw something? Oh. Oh, he threw a drink. Back and to the left. He does care, too. He didn't even care. Oh, my. Could it be? It is. It is. <laughs> Jim Ross do be messing up. <laughs> he do be getting the shows confused. Timestamp. <laughs> that was a cool little sign. Is that glass? Oh, the table didn't break. This just looks all kinds of dangerous. The table didn't break. Let me guess, it's not gonna break. It didn't break it. They just bounced off of it. Oh no! This don't look like it's gonna be good. Oh! It didn't break. For brother in every industry <laughs> I ever do. I am the table. All I wanted to, all I want is to be on Batmania. Well, there you go, my guy. Beat go hard. Congratulations. I have granted your wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one fine looking high front pump. Why doesn't mine look like that? Yeah, it definitely did not look like that. That apron bump did not look like that. From the Smoking Guns Wikipedia page. From their debut until January 1994, they would fire blanks in the arena with real guns, but then they received complaints from families that they were scaring children, which caused them to stop firing guns in the arenas. Whoa. Ah. It would be cool to see some of the footage of the crowd reacting to some of that. Oh, well. Wow. Former, we're talking arena football on the Ross report. Now, what is the latest on arena football? I understand they wanted to play some wild wrestling is taking place in the arena. That's, that's right. As a matter of fact, arena football. Oh, my God, they're going to kill him. Whoa. Come on, I got to get the fuck out of here. He's a young coach. He's a young coach. Bro. Do you hear the commentary? That, that is truly the definition of a different time in wrestling. You can't even, no, whoa, no, no, no. You can't even, even, can't even think about doing that. The commentary alone, he was losing it. Holy. What? This is definitely giving me, um... Squid Games. This is this is this is definitely giving me Squid Game vibe. Definitely giving me Squid Games vibes, bro. If you've seen Squid Games, you you understand the reference here. That is awful. 
the match is already over. All the money and trinkets and everything else on the ring and y'all still wrestling. Like, from a wrestling, just from a realism standpoint, I would just pick up the stuff and leave. Oh, wow. They had to collect everything. <laughs> the sound effect. That was great. <laughs> Listen, we need to have a talk about Vanderhoff. The fact is, he's the sponsor. And you signed a contract guaranteeing him certain concessions. One of them being a spot on the show. Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. Ah, oh, I see what they did there. I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> where exactly are you going to put the rabbits? In the vice, man. <laughs> In the vice? Yeah, I'm sure you've been plexing here with this timer, right? <laughs> then you put them in the vice. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that, you know. I, I miss uh, this past Monday Night Raw, so seeing him in like that vice was kind of, kind of creepy. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I saw this on Twitter. Who? What are you a fucking owl? Ooh, <laughs> Booker T. That's what he's wondering. Out of here! Oh, she definitely did hit that. <laughs> really? <laughs> like he playing in a guitar here, bro? And you hear the boots? I love this song, but it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this was this was a great moment. <laughs> what do you wanna do with your life? I wanna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Wait, don't be fooled. He's just regular Jack Swagger with a stupid cheap hat. He still embodies the boring personality. He's <laughs> but he's got a new hat. But he got a new hat. <laughs> yeah. Bro, are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> I remember this. I'm sorry, bro. That you can't tell me that's not yeah, funny, bro. Die. It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your mouth out. Yeah. It's party time. Look at that. Do you wanna make love? Get your mouth out, old man. It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your mouth out. It's party time. Get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? <laughs> Oh, 
Feel free to say no. Oh! What's the worst? Fuck the universe till it hurts. Yeah. I'm not used to these kinds of mental health issues. I just wanna live in a church. Of yeah. Pain. <laughs> Upon my brain. Jesus, please just stop me pain. Yeah. I know you think that this is a game, but it's not. Now watch me walk away. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know when to stop. I got yeah. Up here that can make me cock. Pink and leg with a mighty blues in the club. Two stepping with my black school shoes. Yeah. Punching me to me book cut jeans. Chuck it on bread with a bit of nut cheese. <laughs> Would you like your bike? Give the clap to your wife and a wave good night. It's party time, get your drugs out. Yeah. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. It's yeah. party time, get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? It's party time, get your drugs out. Yeah. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. Yeah. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you wanna make love to a sad old man? Oh my god. <laughs> That was great. Oh my. I'm I'm done. I hope YouTube doesn't block that. Oh my god. That was fantastic. That seeing Vince Man do this, bro. I'm done. I don't I there's nothing else for me to say, bro. There's nothing else for me to say. That was fantastic. That was I love that part, bro. That made my fucking night. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite part from this video. For me, it's that ending song. It fit perfectly. Vince doing this with his neck. It looked like he was coked up. <laughs> it looked like he was on, a, you know what I'm saying? He was high as a kite on some type of substance. Just, I've never seen Vince dance like that. What was, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Well, I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one.